I bought them for you. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I got a, I got a very big show for you today. You're very lucky to have satellite radio today because I know I have our lie detector man extraordinaire, Ed Torian, in the I other I saw room. him out there. And that's for uh, when Belzer comes in. But I figured maybe we can have some fun with it even before Belzer gets here. Oh, really? Because who even knows if Belzer will submit? Ed looks fantastic. I also have this guy, <laughs> Michael, who won a trip to the Bunny Ranch to give us an update. And I understand it was very, very strange. Really? Yeah. I, I have some of the details, and I have a lot of questions about it. For Michael and for Brooke Taylor, who will be here, and uh, Air Force Amy, I think, who will be on the phone. And they slept with him, and the story gets very strange. But first, Lisa G. I wonder if Lisa G. would sit in the chair. I, I, I would like to give a lie detector to Lisa G. Uh, you think she'd submit? I think Lisa G. would submit. You uptight about sitting on yes. a lie detector? You are? I know. I'm uptight. I'm not doing anything I'll like do it. that. She's not uptight. I'll do She's it if just you not do it. doing it. Right. I'll do it if you do it. I knew there was something up. I knew it. I knew it. No, I knew. I'll yes, do it if yes, you do Gary it. Yes, yes, Gary said, stand by. Be on standby. I knew it. No, because I couldn't decide if I was going to do them before you or you before mm -hmm. them. Why are you so uptight? I'm not uptight. Here's what I would ask you. I thought about this. Here, I want you to sit in a lie detector, and here's what I would ask you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Uh huh. I put I put some thought into this. Mm-hmm. No. And I'll do it too. No, no, no. Well, it's your show. Go ahead. Yeah, it's your show too. <laughs> yeah. You're not, you're not part of the team. You have to be what? vetted. What? Here's vetted. what I would ask you. <laughs> Are you in love with Howard? I would ask you that. Mm-hmm. Harmless. I would ask you if you would ever take money to have sex. Ew, no. All right, so you say no, and we'll see if you're truthful. Do you think you'd be a better wife to Howard than Beth? <laughs> and we would ask you. No. You don't think you would be? No. You two are a great couple. All right. Have you ever made out with another woman? I would ask N you that. No. Okay. So do you have nothing Wait, why to Why am I answering these things? I don't know. I don't know why you're so uptight about answering. I'm not uptight. I'd ask you if you've ever gone down on a woman. <laughs> Do you wish Howard would come on to you sexually? I would ask you that. And uh, would you have an affair with Howard? Yes? Wow. You no, just nodded no. yes. I did not. <laughs> have you ever fantasized about giving oral to Howard? <laughs> and that would be the questions. I would ask you six questions. Are you afraid of that? I'm not afraid of it. Do it. I'm Liberate not... thyself. What? Come on. Liberate no, it's them. not necessary. Come just on, answer. Be part of the fun. And yes, all of us are going to do it. I'm no fun. Remember, we Sal's had a whole going discussion. In. I'm I'm going going in. In. Robin, I'll go on the lie detector today. You're you going have... on the lie detector That's today. That's right. You just can ask me what you want. What do I got to be afraid of? <laughs> what do I got to be afraid of? <laughs> Gary just said, I'm going to ask you who you like on the staff. I said, I'll answer. All right. It'll be hurtful. Oh, boy. Hey, we're, we're, that's what we do here. We let yep. blood. Lisa. I'm no fun. We, I'm we went through this already. I'm asking if you would answer those questions. There'll be no surprises. Yeah, I'm not doing a lie detector test. Wow. I'm not Sal's wife. I'm just not wow. nothing to hide. It's just Wow. What? Big deal. You are uptight. Wow, look at your eyes. They're popping I'm out shocked. of your head. You know why? Because I said to I said to Gary, I'm gonna ask Lisa if she wants to be involved. And he and he goes, Well, she won't do it. I go, and you I truly said, thought I, she would. I did, and I said, Why would she care? Of course she would. Why would I? But why wouldn't you? I mean, what is the big deal? I mean, that's like saying, well, why, why not have some fun? <laughs> I'm no fun. All right, then so you do it. it. Wow. You can't get in a lie detector and ask if you're in love with Howard Stern. Oh, no. And then all these other questions are going to no, come up I and I'll be you, hooked into I it. I told you it, the questions. It, Here they yeah, are again. I'm sure. Like, are I you really love, believe are it. Are you in love with Howard Stern? What could I ask you that would be embarrassing? What could I ask you? You've asked me other things here on the show. And you cannot answer, too, you know. When you're sitting yeah, you there, if I ask answer. you something you don't want to answer, don't answer. How about it? Right, then the needle goes all the way up. Yeah, so, I know. Come no, on. Goes, you have to give an answer. I would like you to do it for me. Good. <laughs> I'm requesting it. Well, then I guess I'm not in love with you because I'm saying no. No, that has nothing to do with love. That has to do with your <laughs> your imagining something horrible happening, I imagine. Ask Steve Langford. I'm sure he'll do I'm it. I'm going to ask Steve. Okay. Ask him now. He's back there. 
I, I'm going to get to him at 10 o'clock. Okay. I'm asking you now, would you have submit to those six questions? No, I just answered Why? them. Why? Because I don't. I want to see if you're truthful. <laughs> you didn't answer. Are you in love with Howard Stern? Yeah, of course I am. You are? Yes. But I want to see if that's truthful. Why? I'm, I, I don't know. You might just be right, saying All right, Ronnie, that. what do you want? Ronnie, Here you're going to have to submit, too. Uh, what? You'll submit, too, then, if Lisa does it, right? Yeah, dude, she's such not a, not a team player. You see what I mean about her? I do now. It, it, it's, you were right. It, it's like... What is wrong with her? She she's afraid to take it because she is in love with you. There's no but doubt she's about saying it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. She... But she's saying it as a jo in a joking way. No, I'm not. I've said I've answered it before. Yeah, but she said you know, she's saying it in a way she's in love with your personality. She's in love with you. At, she wants you, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, we would find out if she would sit in for the lie detector. Yeah, but why she, don't you believe me? I, I mean, I do believe you. All right. So, and the story. So go sit there. What is the big deal? Yeah, what's your problem? Go, you I know, have no problem. Then why aren't you a team player with anything ever? You always. You, we, what do you have, want me to be? One of the boys. Wanna, you want me to be one of the boys? Yes, I want to ask you. <laughs> I want to ask you six questions under a lie detector test. I've told you the six questions, <laughs> and if I ask you anything inappropriate, you don't have to answer. No, I know the way. I know the way you work, HS. I know it. No, it's no. it's yeah, a lie detector guy doing it. And all these other questions no, sneak in there. I will not sneak in. I promise. I'm, if I give you my word, mm, then you, that does not work on this show. No, it does. Mm -mm. You shouldn't be working on this show. <laughs> Why? I'm because you're you not my a player. Word. Robin, do I give my word? Yes. Okay. And you can rely on it if he gives his word. <laughs> Robin knows. She's been with me. How many years, Robin? Too long. All right. Too long. So that's over 20 years. Yes, that's way too long. <laughs> do you think Lisa should do it? It would be fun. There's nothing <laughs> that bad could, that can happen to her. Yeah, right. Would well, you I'm submit to a lie detector? I've done it. I know. Remember, I've been on the lie detector. You're Robin. Right. Right. You're Robin Quivers. And treatment. So what does that mean? She's Robin Quivers. She's what does a that team mean? player. She yes. takes one for the team. What are you hiding? What, did you blow a Nazi or something? Get on there. <laughs> Right. I'm going to ask you that question. Have you ever blown a Nazi? <laughs> no. Maybe she's gay and she doesn't want to come oh, out of the closet. Stop it. Is that it? <laughs> no. Now I'm blushing. Yeah, but that's probably Please why. Go sit down in that lie detector. Take you two seconds. Mm -mm. What? What could happen? What bad could happen? I'm what part of the news Howard, team. Howard, you don't want to go there. Howard, you got to ban her from coming in here, man. Oh, come on, Ronnie. Seriously. Now you're being mean. No, I'm not. It's not mean. Everybody goes through shit in this place. I mean, forget about it. You won't do anything. Uh, hey, listen, it's not part of her job description to take a lie detector test, but I thought it would be something fun to do. I with understand Lisa. that. And make her more a part of the show. She doesn't <laughs> want to be part of us. That's no, the whole thing. No. Well, that's true. All right. I got it, Lisa. You've proven <laughs> that Ronnie's right. Why don't you just put a, dag right. put a dagger through yeah. my heart right really? now? That's Ronnie is right. Feels. It's not in your job description, but how could you have a job description without a job? Understand what we're saying? You, you can't hang around in the Black Cloud Diner anymore. You're done. It's out. You're taking take, her out of take there? Take your stuff oh. and move out. Oh. Find upset. another place to hang out. Ronnie's Lisa. intensely Fight. loyal to me. Uh, I know. And I'm going to ask Ronnie some tough questions. I'm going to ask him if he likes me. Oh, my God. He loves you. Of course. Well, who knows? Yeah, really. Who knows? What has been his problem lately? He you. Has been so <laughs> you. He's a grumpy so old you. man. Yes, you're a grumpy old man. Hey, Ronnie, from now on. <laughs> and you're old, too, and so don't get off it, okay? You're old also. Ronnie, from now on, I want you to do the headlines at uh, some <laughs> Okay, you got it. And right. your mambo smells like fresh step cat litter, I meant to tell you. Yeah, right. Bullshit, man. This Everybody... just in the fucking Geo group <laughs> killed <laughs> Kenneth Callen back. That's right. Motherfucker. <laughs> his mambo smells like cat urine? Yeah. Cat, yeah, litter. cat litter. Cat. I was cleaning yes. my cat litter the yeah. other day. I went oh, to yeah. Regular yeah. girls and strippers love it. That's right. I she's not, obviously, she's not a regular girl. I attended, she's an old lady. I attended oh. the fitting for best dress. It looks fantastic. And I cried like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. What did you expect? Nah, I'm disappointed. I am. I thought I actually expected you to say, "Sure, I'll do it." Mm -hmm. I really, honestly did. Penny Crone would have done it in a split second. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. That's my girl. <laughs> Good. Bring her back. All right, Ronnie. Thank you. Sorry, man. man. Sorry, you don't have a team player. Buzzkill. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, Lisa. All right. What's in the news?
You really want me to go yes, on Yes, I do. Listen, uh, I can't force you to do it. I thought it would be a fun thing to do. Do your job. It would be fun. Yeah. It's not part of my job. Okay. Well, it certainly isn't. Stick to the book. I'm Why'd trying. you fin finish eating? Come on, oh. have another one. Do your job and do the fucking loop. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Skinny. Good. Eat another. Come uh, on. Uh, no need to attack. You've, you've, you've given up the right to attack anyone in this room. If yeah, you're not yes, play by the, rules. the entire staff out here is boycotting the cookie party now. Nobody's going. No, no. Come oh, on. Oh, dear. Listen, Lisa's not comfortable with it. No. I don't know, Honestly, I don't know what I could ask you that would make you uncomfortable. But if there's something that I've uh, asked here that makes yeah, you Yeah, I answered all the questions. But it's more fun to see if you're telling the truth. Right. If, if I knew that you were really telling the truth, that you love me, <laughs> that, would be, that would be very meaningful to me. Probably actually. get more air time. It's not love, love. Like, well, let's Beth find loves out. you. It's I'm like, gonna ask I you. admire I'm gonna you and I love you because of that. No, I'm going to say, do you, are you in <laughs> love with me? In the way that Beth is in love with me. And if you say no, I'll know if you're telling the truth or not. And there's nothing wrong with that. Right. Howard, would you be willing to give her all the questions you're going to ask up front? He did. I mean, well, I did. You know, I just asked she, I, She's worried that you're going to sneak a few in. Like, but I, she could always not answer. She could say, by the way, that's not one of the questions I agree to. Right, needle. you ask the question and the needle goes no, up right away. I you know, know that it works. You don't know anything, anything about a lie detector. I watch CSI Miami, no, I know. that's TV shows. Ask right. Ed Torian. In order, <laughs> ask him seriously, off the air. In order to do a lie detector, the person has to give an answer. If you right. give more than one word, yes or no, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. you got to give an answer. And that just means you're just reacting to the question. It Why doesn't mean you you're telling the truth me? or not. I thought it would be fun. That's all. Right. I'm not picking on so now you. Now everyone hates me. No. I'm no fun. Don't come to work. No, no party. It's just, it's just you're not that fun. You're not. I, that does prove my point that you're not fun. <laughs> you told me to embrace it. Brian, well, you're I on am here. Okay. right now. You're, you're definitely a hard ass. Brian, go ahead. I see that. Hey, how you doing, man? Yes. Hey, uh, you know, at least he's going to fucking step up to the plate. Ronnie's right, man. I mean, she fucking doesn't, she doesn't want to fucking do anything for the show. I mean, she wants to fucking see. Well, that. it is not her job description. I thought it would be a fun extracurricular thing, but I was wrong. No, I understand that, man. But, I mean, still, uh, everyone else does shit for the show, and she still doesn't want to freaking, uh, she doesn't want to contribute. And she does the news, and like I said, she wants she wants to go to your wedding, she wants to see best dress, she wants exclusives of exclusive. That's right, it's part of the news department. Of course we'd want to be there. No, I know, Lisa, but still, I mean, you're on the fucking Howard Stern show. I mean, what the fuck do you expect? Yeah, I mean, have a little fun with it. But I know. Uh, you have fun. I have fun here every day. Well, well on your terms, not on ours. Well, you could have a lot more fun. What I need breast implants. What else do you no, want me to I do? No, I didn't say you need them. Although it would help. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think they'd be fun. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Lisa. What do you have for us? Out. It's a well, shame. I have really big news to tell you, but now you're just a joy kill. Go ahead. Oh, I'm the joy kill. Okay. Artie Lang's book will be number one on the New York Times bestseller list when it comes wow. out. Whoa. Did you know that, Artie? <laughs> I found out last night. Yeah, oh, for you. boy. That Congratulations. Was Congratulations. Number one. The publisher that is doing my book said in 25 years, it's only the second one she's had they do it number one. Well, I mean, that's very important for the show, you know. <laughs> Howard got True. a letter to Howard, that. I got uh, a letter about that. I think when I told you this would be great for the show. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know, it was good. To, my mother cried for something positive. There you go. She was very, my mother was very blown away by it. I'm it was, very happy. That for was you. nice to see. And again, it's like well done. Yeah, thank you. He beat out Dewey about the little kitten that was left at an Iowa library <laughs> and the flat belly diet. Ah, the flat belly diet. Now that's a big seller. All right. Well, congratulations again, Artie. Thank the, the you. book is too fat to fish. Yeah, and uh, number one bestseller this week, and it will be on the New York Times bestseller list. <laughs> that is funny. Oh, thank you. Can we hook you up to lie detector to make sure you're not lying about that? <laughs> no, I'm not so. lying. I got the stats to prove it. What else do you have, Lisa? Well, Benji Bronk was spotted with an enormous tear in the crotch of his pants yesterday in the hallways. Benji claimed that he recently had the pants tailored and says he believes they were improperly mended. <laughs> and that's why there was that huge hole. He grabbed another pair of pants on his way to work and had a change here. <laughs> Big <yesterday>. story. <laughs> Did you think that should have been the lead? <laughs> uh, well, anyway, Lisa, thank you very much for those stories. You ruined my whole day. Uh, come on. You've ruined mine. Mm. Thank you. No, it's fine. Yeah. If you don't want to do it, it's fine. No, I'm sure Steve Langford will. 
Okay. Well, sure we'll see. Well. well, you'll see that it's not a big deal, and you're going to be sorry you didn't do it. Right. Because we're all going to do it. Right, so not? now you want me to walk mm-hmm. out there. Yes. With everyone booing me and no. have a good day. No. Mm-hmm. Just go have a good day. Welcome to our right. pain. You do what you want to do. I just put it out there. I thought it might be fun for you. You don't want to do it. It's okay. No harm, no foul. I think nothing less of you. I'm walking out another door. Go Is ahead. there a trap you, door? Go at that other door. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't still understand why you wouldn't do it, but that's your prerogative. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lisa G. Great job. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> don't take it Way so hard. <laughs> what is it, Robin? What is the fear there? Explain it to me. I'm sure she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> now, there you go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Lisa getting barraged. Well, I'm sure she that thinks that funny. there's some Trickery. trick. There really wasn't. Butt. There really wasn't. Well, we can assume now, since she hasn't taken it, that she's had a gay uh, act in her life. Something's going on that she doesn't want anybody to know. Right. Right. I really didn't have that many and great she's questions. she's afraid that she'll be tripped up. Those were the questions. They weren't that But wild. it also shows you something about that news department. What? What does it show me? I mean, I know, but you tell me. They are capable of anything, and they think others are capable of anything. You know, Ah. they don't mind destroying people's lives. Right. And and they think that others are like that, too. It's great pursuing the truth when it comes to us, but when it comes to the truth to them. Good Lord, do they make us miserable. Something tells me (laughs) that uh, you have an issue with that news department. You don't have to. There's no secret. Would you take a lie detector about that? There's no secret. I'll tell you up front. I have a huge issue with them. I think they're crazy. Robin was being truthful there. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's find out. Here's my plan. I'm going to take a short break here because I need to. Then I'm going to bring in Brooke Taylor and the guy who got laid at the Bunny Ranch, because they've got a good story. (laughs) And then if we have some time before Belzer, maybe a couple of the...